David Schneider with your headlines for this Wednesday, February 18th. A family is pleading for answers after their daughter disappeared in Vermont nearly a month ago. Denise Hart was last seen leaving a friend's home in Sudbury on the night of January 25th. The next morning, her car was found engulfed in flames a short distance away in Cornwall. Police do suspect foul play here. Hart is the mother of a three-year-old boy. Her family says it has been tortured not knowing what happened. Police in Hart's hometown of Hartford, Connecticut, have also joined the investigation. A man is behind bars accused of assaulting his three-month-old boy twice, sending the baby to the hospital with multiple injuries. Police uh, allege the assault stemmed from anger over a video game. 26-year-old Jerry Carrier faces two counts of first-degree assault. Police say the first assault took place at Carrier's mother's apartment in Newport, New Hampshire on January 5th. Then on January 19th, the baby was hospitalized again after Carrier allegedly assaulted a child in Charleston. Police say the Carrier, uh, carrier admitted his anger over a video game system is what prompted the attacks. The child remains in state custody as Carrier awaits arraignment in Claremont today. Eating systems have taken a lot of abuse over the past few weeks. Service techs say they've run into some particular challenges this year. It certainly is a terrible surprise to lose heat when it's so cold outside. But Vermont Gas says they've received a number of calls from customers with freeze-ups this winter. Veteran technicians say pieces of equipment that conserve energy tend to have a bit more water in the system. And they find those do cause vents and drains more likely to ice over. And speaking of heating your home, the wood pellet supply is spread a bit thin throughout the region. Wood fuel pellets are those small, almost capsule-sized pieces of wood that are used to fuel a wood pellet stove. Some of the stores we spoke with says the shortage in our region is related to recent storms hitting Massachusetts. So to conserve, some stores have limited the amount of pellets one customer can purchase at a time. Storms we spoke with do say the shortage are certainly not permanent. Many expect shipments within the next few days to restock shelves. Police continue their search for a bank robber in Springfield, Vermont. They say the robber went into a citizen's bank there wearing a fake beard around 2 o'clock Tuesday. Officials say he had a gun, though nobody saw it. He told the teller to fill a grocery bag with money, and then he took off. But a red dye pack in that money exploded. Some of that may have gotten on him. Police say the suspect was in his 20s, between 5'4 and 5'8. He was wearing a black winter mask and a fake black beard at the time. If you have any information, call Springfield Police at 885-2113. Also, Vermont State Police are looking for this man. Troopers believe he broke into Paul's whistle stop in Barnett early Tuesday morning and ran off with an undisclosed amount of property. Anybody with information on that is asked to call St. Johnsbury Police at 748-3111. Well, thanks so much for checking us out online or on your mobile device. Be sure to tune in to WPTC News Channel 5 starting at 5 o'clock for the latest news and weather of the day. Till then, have a great afternoon.